January the 8th, 2008. The Newtown Club celebrates its 100th birthday. The Jets claim to be the first Australian rugby league club, disputed for a century. Newtown Rugby League Football Club was born on the 8th of January. That makes it the first club. And the facts are, the minute book clearly state that. A hundred years later, there's still a Barney about which club was formed first. Uh, the newspapers all tell us that Glebe was first, but Newtown insists that they, their own minutes record that they were first. So there's an ongoing battle that's still there. The first season kicked off with nine foundation clubs. Newtown, Glebe, North Sydney, South Sydney, Cumberland, Balmain, eastern suburbs, western suburbs, and the somewhat distant Newcastle Club. Newcastle people are very proud of the fact that we were there in 1908 and 1909, traveling down to Sydney by steam train or bullet cart, whatever you want to be a part of that first competition ever. The first rugby league clubs were the building blocks of the code, generating pride in community. And it wasn't always about the footy. February 2008, the rugby league skips sail once more on Sydney Harbour. There was that link there between sailing and, and rugby league where these guys used to play football on the Saturday and they'd sail on the Sunday. Skiff racing is a tradition that goes back to the foundation of the game. The football fraternity in which Delhi Messenger mingled and mixed would sort of automatically go across to uh, racing boats on Sydney Harbour. On the water, clubs would race for the Gilton and Sailing Trophy. On the field, it was all about the Premiership Prize, the JJ Gilton and Shield. But with Australian Rugby League just a year old, the decider was anything but a fair fight. The league decided they'd play matches between the Kangaroos and Wallabies. But rather than extend the season, they put the grand final of Balmain between South Sydney on the undercard, which really upset the Balmain officials. Balmain organised a boycott, promptly ignored by their opponents, South Sydney. They both made the gentleman's agreement they wouldn't turn up to the grand final. South Sydney turned up, kicked off, and they claimed the victory in 1909. And from that year onwards, we became rivals and bloody beauties. 